everyone and welcome to the third installment of Vlogtober. I can't believe I've already actually made it through two weeks and I've pretty much vlogged every single day for those two weeks. Um, apart from, you know, that last day of Vlogtober. But anyway, as you can see, I look great today. Um, basically, today I just have to do loads and loads of work. Um, and I thought I would do like a bit of a pamper thing as well. So, so here are just a few of the things I'm probably going to be using. Oh, I need to get rid of this bloody thing because it just gets in the way all the time. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be using the Sienna X Fake Tan, when I can be bothered. Um, Aesop Parsley Tea Cleansing Mask, if I can even talk. The Ren, is it the Glycolactic? Yeah, Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. Um, I'm just going to scrub my lips with the Santa's Lip Scrub. Still using the Christmas one. I'll probably put a few of these under my eyes just to stop me from looking so puffy. Then I get rid of that moustache and I plate those legs. Boom. Hello everyone, so a slightly different setup from me. Um, basically it's about half six, six o'clock, I don't really know to be honest. Um, I haven't actually left the house today so me putting on makeup was completely pointless, but I have decided to basically do all of my like lifestyle blog pictures um, now, pretty much. It's not ideal because natural light is generally better, but to be honest I'm so sort of needing to do work in the day or I'm out and about that I have to do it like this right now. So Ollie's blowing his nose and my neighbours are stomping up and down their stairs, this is great. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you what it is that everything looks like when I do do my photos. As you can see it's very, very glamorous. Um, tripod, floor, an array of backgrounds. Um, also got some like planks of wood here for another makeshift background. Um, but yeah, I'm just taking a few really random pictures just that I can sort of have on my computer that I can use for posts that maybe aren't like beauty or fashion related. Um, so yeah, I've literally just gone around my house and collected like loads of different things that will look kind of pretty in photos. Um, and then I'm just going to do like loads of photos. I kind of want to do about 30 or 40 so it might take me a few hours. But I think I've got like a fairly decent setup. Like if you guys can see, I had to get Ollie to help me but I don't think that looks too unnatural. That's normally the worst thing with using my lights, sometimes it can look a bit dodgy, but I think right now it looks all right. And for those of you that wonder how us bloggers get the marble background, I have no marble furniture in my house. It's all just sticky back plastic. Um, I will try to remember to link that down below or something. But yeah, just gonna take some pictures of some plants. Someone's decided to join in for the fun. Hello. Are you making sure everything's okay? Thanks. Are you just gonna lie down? Right. People never understand me when I say how stupid Michael is, but look. He's been sat like this for a good 10 minutes. What are you doing? Are you being a baby? Who needs kids when you've got cats? Hey guys, so it's now around, I think it's around eight o'clock. Um, and I haven't really eaten that much today. I'm, I'm really, really bad at this, but um, I decided to finally attempt to do the faux noodle soup that uh, Lily Melrose posted on her channel. And I opened the fridge, not only to find that every single bit of vegetable, bit of vegetable, piece of every single vegetable, that do, is frozen. So my bean sprouts are frozen. One of my spring onions was actually frozen to my fridge. Um, I hate this house so much, it's absolutely freezing that literally it makes the freezer or the fridge go colder. Um, and I also found out that Ollie used up the last onion. Which is probably a good thing because I think I need more than one onion anyway, but I was just going to try it with one. So I think I'm going to have to go to co-op. I hope they're still open. So after I ended up going to co-op, um, I got a few bits. Somehow I ended up spending like 18 quid, although I did buy Ollie a lot of snacks. I've still got loads of sand on my lens. Um, and turns out when I got to the checkout, I had forgotten my card because I gave Ollie my card earlier this morning to borrow. Um, so to come all the way back, it's now about 45 minutes after I actually planned on making this food. I'm so hungry. So I ate a bag of Haribo, but whatever. So now all I need to do 
is I'm simmering or dry roasting or something some cardamom and uh, cloves or something I don't know and then I'm also going to chop an onion chop up some garlic then I need to make some sort of broth I'm trying to follow Lily Maris's uh, tutorial but I don't know how well it'll go for me fingers crossed eh so apparently I've got to let this simmer for about half an hour which doesn't bode well for my hungry stomach but I will prevail also this is at my face constantly right now I'm trying so hard not to cry from the onions literally like I've tried the spoon trick I've tried everything but please if you have any idea of how to like not make onions make me break down into tears every single time then let me know because every single time I cook at the moment it seems to involve onions and I'm just like this constantly I don't really want my makeup to all go down my face. So this is the aftermath. And I got some on the floor. I'm just gonna walk away from this. I'm gonna walk away and tidy it later. Bye. So I leave the kiss the kiss merchant kitchen mess to come to this mess. Um I actually just ate my food, so I'm gonna try and show you guys a picture of it because I took a photo it was good but yeah I'll give you guys a sneak peek of some of the photos that I took I think I'm all done now I'll probably carry on later but there's loads of different bits and pieces and loads of different variations I don't know if you guys can see but I have have I got a noodle in my hair had a noodle in my hair. I was going to tell you that I had like dried noodle on my chin but I got a noodle in my hair as well. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday today and I just realised my flies were undone so that's awkward. I've actually been outside as well so hopefully they weren't undone the whole time but um, as you can see my nails have been taken off. Basically I have just booked an appointment to get my nails done. Um, completely new to this so I have no idea what to expect um, but I just got tired of them pinging off and yeah so i've decided to get them done for real quickly thought i would show you what i'm wearing washing seriously needs to be done um wearing this new jacket from vera moda from arc i'm wearing this cami top which is from w concept jeans are also from arc actually and then i'm wearing my asos something shoes i have no idea what they are but i will link everything down below as usual um but yeah i think my appointment's in like 10 minutes so i better go just had a sausage roll, probably got it in my teeth, um, also got a coffee, but yeah, hope they make my nails better. Hey guys, so didn't really get a chance to film because it was very, very awkward being in there. Um, they literally spoke like no English, but I think we did, uh, did a good job. What do you think? I went for like the coffiny style and my nails have really, really shitty like nail beds. Like you know Mean Girls when like they're talking about their faults and one of them says that she has really bad nail beds. I literally, my nail beds suck and they genuinely do. They're like really short and I don't know. So they probably don't look as good as maybe other people would, but I think it's probably the best we can do. Um, yeah, like I said, I got the coffin shape. I don't know what color this is, but it was just like a, it was like an orally polish and it was just, you know, standard creamy beigey nude color. Um, it cost me 28 I think, I think it's 28, um, which is a lot cheaper than the other places where I live um, and I think the infills cost like £18 or something so it's not too bad um, and my nails grow really slowly anyway so fingers crossed I won't have to get them done for like five years or something like that, probably more like three weeks. Um, but yeah I'm just going to be doing some work again, um, I have a video to edit, oh and I got sent today, where is it, this stuff from, um, what's it called? Cardiff Sports Nutrition, Cardiff Sports Nutrition, yeah, and they sent me the Sweet Spreads All Natural Flavoured Cocoa Butter Vanilla Cupcake, so that'll be fun, um, apparently it literally does just taste like vanilla cupcake, so we'll have to see, but if that is the case, then that'll mean I can just eat something like that when I'm feeling like some sugar, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with my nails, I've got fake tan on my hands somehow, I haven't even fake tan in a while, um, but yeah, I'm very happy with them because this time they won't ping off, which is very, very good. I just need to get used to typing with them, which might be easier said than done.
Hello guys, so it is, what day are we on today? Wednesday? Again, need to clean this mirror. Um, I'm makeup free because I'm about to do a makeup tutorial video. Um, it's one that was quite highly requested, so I finally decided to start doing that. I think, maybe, Ollie might be doing a video with me today. So I just received this package and I have absolutely no idea what is in it. So I'm going to use my nail scissors to open it up. Let's see. So here we have the new L'Oreal Steam Pop, which is basically like a straightener that straightens your hair with steam. So I am going to be filming a makeup tutorial today, hence the no makeup. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I still have no makeup on. Um, but yeah, I was watching one of Susie's videos the other day and she was talking about the like aftermath of filming and how much she hates it and I thought I would just show you like the before of me filming um, because it's literally like a nightmare for me. So I have to push back my computer and then loads of stuff has to go on the floor because there's no room to fit anything. I've got my makeup down here, some clothes and all these boxes, so ignore them. Um, my really professional mirror set up and I've got my two soft boxes here and then I have to take it all down afterwards hello yeah filming for me like I like filming but I hate setting up and I hate just taking everything down it's an absolute nightmare and by the time I finish this I'm probably just gonna have to actually leave the um, lights up because I think Ollie's gonna be filming with me later hopefully I need to try and persuade him um, but yeah anyway like I said it's half three well nearly half three and I've done absolutely nothing I've just been like setting up and stuff like that because I had to wait for my card to clear um, but yeah, now I'm going to start filming, so maybe I'll get like a sneak peek if my battery will let me because I can see it like flashing in the background. Uh, yeah, we'll see. So this is how everything sort of looks now and because I don't have like a flip out screen, what I do is if I click on the menu button, um, I think I am actually already on Wi-Fi. Yeah, I am. So I'm enabled on Wi-Fi. Then I go over to my phone and it'll let me. I change the network that I'm on if it's gonna hurry up and load. Okay so I've just called mine AB for no apparent reason and then all I do is I go on over to EOS remote okay and then if it'll let me load then ta-da! So you can see me filming me taking a photo of me so that's basically how, oh, it's frozen. That's basically how I make sure that I'm in focus and stuff like that. Um, it's a bit slow though, it's like really delayed. But yeah, that's how I do it. Oh, yes. Oh my God, you guys, that was the most terrifying situation ever. Basically, Michael always comes in fine. Pepe came in, like normally comes in after about half an hour or so, but it's been like two and a, two and a half hours-ish. I can't speak right now. And he still hadn't come in. It's pitch black outside and he never goes out at night. And we were shitting ourselves. Like we ran up the road with torches. We literally were just calling 24 seven. And he's finally back. I don't know where he was, but I now have so much to do. And yeah. Which is so scary. Never let you go out again, Pep. Never, you're grounded. Hey everyone, so it's a little later than whenever it was that I last spoke to you. I think it was when I spoke to you about Pep. The naughty Pepe that is now sleeping on my bed. Um, excuse the over-the-top makeup and potentially very Halloween-y um, lipstick, but I just filmed another video. I realised I had to do like a, a sponsor video and I hadn't actually done it yet, so I need to get that edited over the next few days. Um, right now I'm just watching vlogs and procrastinating as usual because, you know, as usual I still have loads, loads of work to do. Um, I genuinely think tonight might be like an all-nighter, all although maybe like an all-nighter with a few hour and a half naps or something halfway through because I've got uni tomorrow but I have so much to do, it's ridiculous. Um, I dread the day that like my dissertation and stuff like that comes around because I'm struggling at the moment and this work isn't even like overly important. Um, but blogging's been kicking off a lot, obviously I've been doing a lot more with YouTube and just generally there's a lot of work going on right now. So please, please wish me luck because if I survive this year and if I actually do quite well this year then 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy myself a cake or something. Two cakes. Ten cakes. I'm going to buy myself ten cakes. Okay, I really need to stop procrastinating now. It's time to do some work. Hey guys, so it is 6am I think. Um, I've basically been doing work all day and evening. Um, I'm in the bathroom because Ollie's trying to sleep. Uh, yeah, I finally done with my work. I did like three weeks worth of work in the evening. Um, and I'm so dead now. But yeah, I'm going to go back to sleep or actually go to sleep. I feel like I haven't actually slept in like two days. Um, and then I'm going to go to uni tomorrow because I have a presentation to do. And then I have a lot more work to do. Hey guys, so it is Thursday today. And I didn't go to my first lecture just because it was like a crime lecture and I was just absolutely knackered after last night. Still absolutely knackered now. Um, I'm off to my second lecture of the day where I've got to do like four presentations which is going to be fun. Um, just had an apple for breakfast, even though it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. And I don't know about you guys, but the apples give you really, really bad burps because they do with me. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to update you on because, to be fair, I've been awake for about 25 minutes. Um, I just need to go to my lecture now and then when I get home, oh, you're sliding everywhere. When I get home, I can do some more work and I'm going to sneeze. I've literally been running on empty for about a week now and I'm very, very scared that now is basically the time that my car will finally run out of fuel. <sighs> time to fill up. Much better. Nap time. Hey guys, so I've awoken. Um, Ollie and I have now decided we're going to go to the cinema tonight to see Martian. Um, we have this running joke where we call it Martin, so I need to try and make sure that when I go to the cinema to order the tickets, I don't call it Martin. I feel like I've got something on my nose. Hello, Michael. Um, but yeah, so I need to quickly film a Fragrance Direct video, so I've had to take off all my makeup just to go and put like a different style of makeup on. Um, and yeah, then I'll have to try and dress it down because it's like a red lip look, so I have to wipe that off again. I want to try and get a few emails or something done before we leave. It's like quarter past six and the film's at eight, um, so I need to get that done. Which means I probably need to stop vlogging and wasting time. Probably a good idea. Okay, so I'm now going to film. So the makeup look is done. Um, the video should be up either by the time you're watching this or in the next few days but I will link it down below if it is already up. Um, probably isn't suitable for the cinema. I think most of the faces but this red lipstick is asking for trouble because popcorn, drink, by the end of the film it will be all up on my just eyebrow area generally. So I'm going to go and take that off and just get into slightly warmer clothes because I am freezing, even under these studio lights. I feel like I need to carry some studio lights with me everywhere I go because it just makes me look so much better. Okay, so I'm all changed and ready to go, or at least I think so. I'm thinking it might be a little bit cold in this. Um, as always, my little beanie hat is from Bershka. For the jacket, also from Bershka. My jumper is from, I can't remember, but I'll try and link it down below. It was like an Asian website or something. Skirt is from French Connection, and this is what I'm talking about, about being cold. I'm very, very warm up here, but potentially going to be cold down here. And then my boots are from Steve Madden, I believe. Hello, Michael. Um, so yeah, it looks a little something like this. I don't really get really, really cold in the cinema, so fingers crossed I am warm enough. Although I might take like some sort of blanket. I used to take hot water bottles with me to the cinema. But I think I've finally gotten past that. But I still might actually take some sort of blanket. Have in mind. That film was so good. And I'm now really tired. Okay guys, so I'm going to sign off for tonight. Um, I've just put like a face mask on, so it's probably why I'm looking a bit shiny. Um, but yeah, it's like quarter past three now. I've got uni at nine. 
means I have to be up at 8. I did get all my work done though, which is very, very good. So we are now up to date with all of my work. Yes. Um, I feel like I have nothing else to say to you. Nope, really don't have anything else to say. But I will see you again in the morning, hopefully, if I have time to vlog. Um, I might need to go to the post office in the morning or I might do it afterwards, depending. But that's not something I need to worry about right now. What I need to worry about right now is going to sleep and staying asleep for as long as possible. And putting lip balm on because my lips feel like crap. Alright guys, so I will see you tomorrow. Hope you all sleep well, even though you will have slept multiple times by the time you see this. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. Not even in the next video, I'm so used to saying that of my YouTube videos. Um, this is a YouTube video. Anyway, goodbye, see you tomorrow. Good morning guys, so I am running late for uni. Surprise, surprise. Um, I had like a meeting and everything, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so I'm off to uni again today. And I think it's my seven hour lecture again today, so that'll be fun. Again, running on like three hours sleep, because I went to bed obviously really late, just sort of. And then Ollie and I decided to have the most weird conversations. I don't even know what we were talking about, but we were both in stitches. And now we've had like an hour less sleep. And he was meant to go uni today, but he didn't show up. And we're just the worst students in the world. I can't wait until this year's up just so I can stop being like a disappointment. Um, but you know, I've got to sort of like prioritize things. And obviously the vlog comes first. Um, but yeah, I'm nearly at uni now. I'm just gonna stroll on in. They know I'm gonna be late, so that's not too bad. Um, stroll on in and get some work done. Okay then, guys. So I have got to pick up a parcel. Um, I'm at the post office now. Today was a really, really busy day. And I still have lots to do when I get back. Um, putting on my shoes because, you know, wasn't really driving in high heels, naughty, naughty. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly run to the post office, get my ID. And then I will be back. I'm back. All right, so what have we got here? Let's have a little look. Oh, this seems heavy. What the hell is this? Ah, okay, so we have some bits for L'Oreal Steam Pod, which is the hair straightener I got earlier. And uh, what are you? What do you say, Murad? This looks like a massive package for something that seems quite small. A new body cream. Wasn't expecting that. That's very exciting. And there's a press release which I will read in a minute. New collagen support body cream launching November the 18th. Very nice. Okay. So, shoes off again. Hopefully I'm not showing you guys my crotch or anything. Because that would be awkward. So I've come home to find another package. As you can see, I've already opened it. Um, but I thought I would just unbox it for you guys again. I thought it was going to be like an, um, an AX Paris uh, delivery. But if I can open it, it is a little goodie box from Hairfinity. So inside, like I said, I've already opened it all. Got a very bejeweled um, hairbrush. Not necessarily my style, but I always run out of hairbrushes. Well, not run out, but I always lose them. Um, we've got three bottles of the Hairfinity supplements. Essentious by Brock Beauty. Never heard of it, but it smells really good. It smells like bubble gum. Um, a conditioner. I've got a shampoo. And I also got a um, protein treatment. So we will see how these go. And I also got a t-shirt. I'm not sure when I'm going to be wearing that, but maybe it'll be like a new pyjama top or something. Hey guys, so it is now about 8 o'clock. Um, I haven't actually had any dinner yet. It's so cold in my house downstairs. Like, literally, this house gets so, so cold. It's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go to Tesco and get some food. Also need to get some food for these little idiots because we've run out. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to maybe get myself a little snack or a treat or something. I was going to get myself a bottle of wine, but I actually get really, really drunk off, like, two glasses, so... I don't know, I'm not sure if Ollie will be keen to drink any of it, but I just feel like I want like even the half a glass. I don't think they sell like the mini ones, but I just kind of like want something to take the edge off because I've had a really shitty week to be honest. But I don't know, maybe a bag of Haribo or something will do that. Hey guys, so it is Saturday today. 
Um, sorry I didn't end the vlog yesterday, or sorry I didn't even really do much yesterday, but um, I basically got home and just crashed out. Um, I felt fine, I was tired, and I just started doing work, and I literally fell asleep at my desk, so I just went straight to sleep. Um, I've had so much sleep now. It's like, well, I've been up since about 12, but I had like 10 hours sleep, maybe? Um, so I feel so much better. Um, I'm just going to go into town now, I think, just because I fancy working from somewhere that isn't home. Didn't have any plans today, so I thought I would just, like, get up to date on all my work. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to go to Starbucks, because I always go to, like, independent cafes, but right now I just fancy a Starbucks, so I might just go there. Um, I also want to go to Boots and pick up a few things that I regret not buying when I had Ollie's discount card. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I'm just going to have a little mooch, nothing overly exciting, um, but it's probably more exciting than me sitting at my desk, just telling you how much work I have, which is a running theme with this vlog. Okay, so just a quickie, not sure how well you can see it, but I'm wearing my new like burgundy jacket from Vera Moda, t-shirt is from T by Alexander Wang, trousers are my leather ones from Bershka from ages ago, and then my boots, I'm just going to kick my mirror, are from Steve Madden. I need to tidy all this up again. Um, also wearing my watch from Triwa, Triwa, I don't know, I'm just going to take a tote bag with me. So yeah, bye! Guys, I'm trying to find my keys, because normally they're in the front door, but the front door's locked, so it's not like I've unlocked it and just lost them. But I don't know where my front door keys are, and obviously Ollie's used them to get out of the door that he locked last night, but I have no idea where my keys are. I am literally stuck in my house. Found him. Found him. So I was actually vlogging when I was out. Um, I just went to like 108 Coffee, I think it's called. Didn't go to Starbucks, it was too busy. Um, but I was vlogging afterwards, just like walking through the street. And I had two women come up to me. They didn't realise what I was doing. Um, and they actually said to me how disgusting I looked in my leather trousers. They just came up to me and said, those trousers are absolutely awful. You look terrible, absolutely disgusting. Why would you walk out the house like that? And I was just like... Um, so I'm actually pretty annoyed right now, because obviously, generally, stereotypically, older people tend to think that, like, young people are rude, but I just had these two women that were probably, like, in their 70s come up to me and fully just go at me and insult me on the street. It's just not a nice thing to hear, you know, no matter who you are, no matter how old you are, people insulting you is never a good thing, especially when I was just walking through town. Like I said this morning, I quite liked my outfit. And I know it's obviously not something that necessarily 70 year olds would wear or even be used to, but come on, what are you doing? Michael's ripping up my bag. Um, but yeah, it's not something, you don't just don't go up to someone and tell them how horrible you think they look, whether they were dressed like in near enough nothing or anything. You just don't go up to someone that you don't know and tell them that. I just think it was just really, really bad and I'm quite shocked to be honest. Um, but anyway, ran over I guess, but whatever. I'm gonna wear the hell out of these trousers and no old woman can stop me. Okay guys, so I have taken off my leather trousers, but I did it begrudgingly. I was gonna spend as long as possible in those trousers, just for a sheer attempt at thinking to myself, no, I will not let two old women piss me off. But then I wanted to put the heater on, I didn't want my trousers to melt, and then I tried to do this position and it's kind of got leather trousers, so I am in tracksuit bottoms. But I still don't think these old women would approve. It's really annoyed me about them. Um, but anyway, right now I've got some lemon water that I've just guzzled. I've got a warm can of Coke that's not warm enough, so I'm going to put it on the heater. Because I love me some warm Coke. And I've got some yoghurt coated fruit bites. So I think I'm just about ready to bang out some more work. I'm also catching up on Hollyoaks. Um, hands up if you're obsessed with Hollyoaks, don't tell me what's happened because I haven't really seen the last week yet. But um, yeah, Ollie should be home in about an hour or so. So I'm going to try and bang out some work. Um, got quite a bit to do, as usual. It's mostly like editing sort of thing. So yeah, I'm just going to get onto that. Stupid old women. Oh, really piss me off. Hey everyone. Can't really talk because, you know, I have a thing on my face. Um, although I'm not sure how noticeable it is. It doesn't stay on very well. Um, yeah, I had this lying around. Thought I'd give it a good old go, so we will see how it works. It does keep falling off my 
very small chin. Like this little nose flap. Now you see it? No, you don't. 